So uh, I was in the uh, traveling uh, by uh, West Islip. I uh, was driving by um, Good Samaritan Hospital um, in West Islip. Uh, as you could probably see a cross uh, right there in that building. So I mean, actually, I, I pulled into the hospital the back end of the lot here to kind of tell you the story about what happened here at this hospital uh, close to uh, maybe 35 years ago. A man by the name of Richard Angelo been nicknamed the Angel of Death. Well, he's a serial killer and a former nurse at this hospital here. In 1989, he was convicted of murdering several of his patients and sentenced 50 years to life in prison. So in October of 1987, he was su suspected of poisoning um, a patient at this hospital. He was a nurse. Um, and well, you know, he accused of injecting Gorlamo uh, Kusic, I believe is the proper pronunciation of his last name, uh, it induced him uh, with a drug into his IV. Gorlamo did not feel well after the injection, so he paged another nurse to help him. Later, it was found that he had Pavlon in his urine, which he had not been prescribed. Now, Angelo was arrested for assault on this 73-year-old man uh, because he was the only person to match the description given to police. Which Mr. Girolamo said he was a heavy set man with a dark beard and glasses. Following his arrest, following his arrest, he um, confessed to having poisoned other patients with the same drug. As a result, as many as 30 recently deceased patients. Well, they had to be exhumed, or they were exhumed, and examined for traces of these paralyzing agents. It was later concluded that he had poisoned at least 35 people at the hospital while working there for seven months. Poisoning resulted in 10 deaths. He claimed that his motive was to portray himself as a hero after poisoning his victims, he would wait until they went into cardiac arrest and then come by and save them in front of his colleagues. He was held in Suffolk County Jail for more than a year awaiting trial. And while he declined to pay his $50,000 bail, because he feared for his safety. December of 89, he was found guilty on two counts of murder, one count of manslaughter, one count of criminally negligent homicide. He's also connected of assault in connection with the deaths of four other patients and was suspected of being responsible for several other deaths. Fifty years to life in prison. Back in 1990, 27 years old at the time. Amazing. A man, smart man, smart man was a nurse in the medical field. And that's what he does. A person that you put your trust into, 
betrays your trust. And I don't know if you realized it, but just showing up to work and talking to the patients, you could be a hero. Not going to that extent what he did. Despicable. Very despicable. The story of uh, Richard Angelo in uh, Good Samaritan Hospital here in West Islip, Suffolk County, New York.